Oh gosh, where do I start? This is um, my favourite book probably. Uh, it changed my life. I read it when I was 13. I love the film. And um, when I saw the creative team involved, I thought, wow, this is an absolute must-see. I cannot wait, actually. I'm really excited. The book is one of my favourite books. Uh, I think it was an amazing book and I think it was a life-changing book for me. I think that also the film, which came out a few years afterwards with Gregory Peck, I think is brilliant and captures the book really well. And you know, I haven't seen a production before, so I'm really looking forward to this. And it's, you know, it's Aaron Sorkin, who's kind of, you know, one of our kind of modern-day geniuses. So uh, to see what he's done with it and what Rafe Spall has done with it in the part is, is pretty exciting. Well, a, a, a good story, well told, I think. I mean, I, I know nothing about the production. I know the book very well. It's a favourite book. Um, so I just, you know, can't wait. I think I think it, it's going to be a cracking night. I haven't read the book, so I'm a blank slate. So, so I'm just here to we... absorb the story, yeah. Excellent. Um, I'm most looking forward to seeing my friend Harry Redding. He's making his um, stage debut you. as Jem. And um, we went to university together, and I've been acting alongside him for the best part of, like, five, six years. So this is, like, a big, big proud moment, yeah. I have not seen the show. I've seen the movie 50 times. I've read the book 50 times. Never seen the show, so this is a real privilege. It's it's an iconic work, you know, in terms of the power of literature to expose our social ills. I saw the movie and I read the book many, many years ago, and I think it's classic. And I'm really excited to see a play, a play in the West End, not a musical. Uh, so it's very exciting, and I hope it does really well. I know. It's got a huge advance, so it's doing really well already, so that's good. I'm looking forward to the interpretation. I mean, it is now we've come to look at our history with a different eye, thank God. And so looking at classics like this on stage um, in this uh, time is going to be very, very interesting. I wonder what, um, what uh, view the play is going to take on the subject matter and how it's going to be performed. Do you know the fantastic thing about getting older is you remember very little? And so I can't, I remember the basic story, the book, I, rem I mean, I loved the character of Scar out, the film, Gregory Peck, I mean, goodness, what's not to like? So, um, yeah, I just want to see how, I, I want to experience the story again. I actually have never read the book. It was one of those ones that was like on the thing at school and so I kind of avoided it because it was reminding me of homework. But yeah, so I actually haven't, I've never read it. So I'm excited to, yeah. I think, you know, good stories and good storytelling uh, doesn't age. I mean, you can go back hundreds of years of Shakespeare. I mean, it's a... Uh, so that's that's part of it. I think in terms of the story, I think it, what it delved into was attitudes, and I think those attitudes of um, uh, intolerance and the otherness and uh, that level of suspicion, I think, runs very very deep. I think the you know last kind of I don't know, five ten years has exposed that to a level that. I wasn't expecting uh, to see naively. So uh, I think in that sense, I think that the attitudes and the uh, approaches are, are tragically dissimilar to what they were like at that time. Racial discrimination, racial inequality, yeah, it's, it's a, I mean, isn't it time we just got that sorted and uh, put it to bed? It's just so, so ridiculous. I mean, and I, I think, when was this book written in the, well, yeah, decades ago? I mean, that it should still be relevant is sad, isn't it? It's a sad indictment. Uh, but, it, but anything we, we can do to shine a spotlight on it is, is good. Racism is still endemic in our society and injustice. Look at George Floyd's murder. So I think this is a, a script that somehow touches people's hearts and perhaps even transforms people's ideas around race and social justice, just race and social justice and change.